Coach, I'll have you make an opening statement and then open it up for questions. Uh, well, it's good. It's good to be back in the uh, in the Big East tournament. You know, there's always been something special about it. Um, there's there's a uniqueness about it that uh, it's a shame that the that the that the fans haven't or aren't able to be a part of it because that's usually a a big big part of the. Uh, you know, this, the excitement of, of the Big East tournament. But uh, being back here certainly feels like it's a normal place to be, even though it's not um, normal circumstances. And, uh, you know, competing uh, under certainly not all, uh, optimum circumstances and have our team play, uh, I thought, as well as we played, especially defensively. Um, I was really, really proud of, of what we did and how we did it. Um, sometimes, you know, you have players that are, you know, player of the game, that game. And, and today, especially, I think it was our team that our team defense was exceptional. All right, a reminder to use the raise hand function to ask questions. We'll start with Patty and Rob. Gino, can you uh, tell us how Nika is, is doing? And then after that, just address how you thought the freshman did it overall. Uh, Nika, uh, not sure. You know, we'll probably know more, um, you know, a little bit later. But right now, it's an ankle sprain. Um, how extensive, we don't know. We'll know soon. Um, Nika's a pretty tough kid, uh, as tough as they come. So if, uh, uh, if I were to bet, which uh, I'm not, because obviously that's against NCAA rules, even though we're in a casino here. Um, Nika's going to give it, you know, give it every opportunity to overnight, and then she's going to try to play. And uh, if she doesn't play, it's because it's it's serious. So we'll know more a little bit later. And in terms of the uh, overall performance of your freshman tonight? Um, the, the other freshman? Is that what you said, Pat? Yes, all, all of your freshmen. All, all of our freshmen? Um, exactly what I expected. You know, uh, it's their first time, so you, you're, you're not quite sure. But given how they've performed, I'm not surprised. You know, I thought Nika set the tone defensively in, um, you know, early on. She set a tone. Uh, and everybody, you know, just filled in. And. Aliyah has been, you know, Aliyah. So, uh, you know, I think everyone that we that we put in the game today uh, contributed. Um, it didn't. I, I didn't see anything that looked like, you know, um, apprehension because oh my God, it's the postseason, it's the tournament. So that was pretty. That was pretty cool to see that they just played. Like we, you know, like it was a, a, a basketball game we played that we had to win. Next, we'll go to Douglas Bonjour. Hey, Gino, um, obviously, Anna's first game back in more than a month. What did you see from her? And especially, um, you know, now with, with Nika's uncertainty, how, how you know important is she to this team with, with her passing and just everything that she brings? Well, she was. They wanted us to limit Anna to ten minutes today, so um, she tried to help the cause by. I thought she was going to foul out in ten minutes, but she managed to not. So obviously, she's a little rusty from not having played in so long. Uh, so it was good to get her any kind of minutes, but um, um, 
obviously having another ball handler and having another passer and uh, another perimeter player, especially in case uh, Nika can't go, um, you know, couldn't come at a better time for, you know, for Anna to be available. And on that note too, you obviously, you know, Mir got in the, in the third quarter. I mean, you talk a lot about your depth, but especially with three games, the possibility of three games in three days. I mean, that, that kind of uh, is even more important now, isn't it? Just seeing those players uh, progress or you know, chip in like that. Uh, yeah, we, we feel like we have, um, we have conditional depth. You know, sometimes, um, you know, we know what we're going to get from Malia. We, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Aubrey coming in, hopefully, um, you know, we get great minutes, whatever, however many there are of those. Um, Anna, same thing. Uh, you know, Mir. Um, and we have players that are capable of helping us, you know, um, sometimes it looks like, like, why don't you play them more? And other times it looks like they're, you know, there's a big, huge drop off between, uh, our, our first five and, and, and then some of our, um, next group. So, uh, you know, today was a good, good way to get their feet wet and, uh, hopefully tomorrow they'll add to that. Thanks. We'll go to Alexa Filippo. Hey, Gino. Uh, after Monday, when you guys scored two points, um, two fast break points, you guys, I think, had 30 today, and it looked like the transition game was probably working better than the half court. How would you just – was that an emphasis um, going back into the postseason to get that part of the game going, and uh, how do you feel at the same time about the team's ability to execute in the half court? Yeah, the, the transition was, again, our defense was better in terms of creating those opportunities. Against Marquette, you know, we didn't create as many uh, defensive opportunities. I mean, Marquette didn't, didn't score a lot of points. Uh, we rebounded the ball a lot against uh, Marquette. But today we, we, we caused a lot of uh, live ball turnovers, you know, uh, that gave us an opportunity to get out and run. Um, you know, plus we played a team that had played last night and you could tell that, you know, early in the game that it, the pace was, uh, was a little, a little more than St. John's was ready for given, you know, their game last night. So, um, you know, that's, that's what you have to do. You know, you have to create transition baskets for yourself. Um, they're, not, they're not just going to happen on their own. You, you know, you have to make them happen. Otherwise, it's a half-court game, and I don't think anybody can be any good in a half-court game. I don't care who you are. You're, you're not going to be able to score enough points, you know, if you come down and let the defense set up and think that you're going to, you know, just run your plays. That's not going to happen. So today I thought was a, a pretty good example of, of both. You know, our half-court offense is never going to be great. It's not going to be like you're used to seeing from years ago. It's just not. You know, we have too many players that are new to this. So sometimes it's going to be good, sometimes not so good. But if our defense can create some transition baskets and second shots, which I thought that first half, you know, Aliyah and, and Liv picked up right where they left off Monday night against Marquette. Time for one more. We'll go to Chris Bello. Hey, Gino. WSJU uh, St uh, Student Radio at St. John's. Coming into the preseason, you had talked about how Paige B Beckers obviously was coming in as a highly touted prospect, but she had to prove herself. Well, she swept Big East Player of the and the uh, Freshman of the Year so far every week. She set the uh, freshman uh, assist record with 131 in 21 games. I was just wondering where, if you're ready to at least rank her amongst players that you've coached over the 30 years that you've gone. Um, 
I would say that of all the players that I've coached at UConn over the years, I would say Paige is in the top three all-time freshmen of guys who bitch about playing time. That no matter how many minutes she plays, she's not happy. And when I take her out, she has something to say all the time and complains every single time she comes out. And, uh, and she does it in a way that I, I really, I want to put her back in, but it just drives me crazy. So uh, I would say looking back, she's definitely in the top three of all time pain in the asses when it comes to playing time. And she's averaged 35 minutes a game this year. So, um, you know, she's got that record too. Thanks, Coach. U UConn will be back in action tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the semifinals. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Hang on the same Zoom. UConn student athletes are coming up. Okay, we have Olivia Nelson Dodota and Paige Beckers after UConn's quarterfinal win. Please use the raise hand function to ask questions to the student athletes. We'll start with Doug Bonjour. Hi, uh, Paige. Obviously, you know, Gina wasn't sure how the freshman would respond to the um, you know, bigger stage. And it looks like you know, if there were butterflies, you certainly weren't uh, showing them. So can you just discuss you know, your, uh, your mindset going into this and kind of how it how it did feel today. Can you please repeat the question, Doug? They couldn't hear that. Sure, sorry. Um, hey, you, you know, Gino just discussed your, your mindset. You know, he wasn't sure how the freshmen would respond to the, um, you know, bigger stage of the postseason. Can you just discuss your mindset, um, you know, what it felt like today? Playing? Yeah, I mean, I think, all of us uh, as a team and as freshmen, uh, just, we just want to come in and win, um, especially in the postseason and survive in advance. And every game means so much. So just having that sense of urgency on offense and in defense and making sure that we do whatever it takes to win, um, that's really big for us. And just keying in on the little things and focusing on getting better each game because we're in March now. Next, we'll go to Alexa Filippo. Hi, guys. Either of you could answer this. Um, Nika obviously means so much to your team, and she really seemed to set the tone on the defensive end today. Uh, in your words, I guess, what was she able to kind of do today to, today to get you guys going? Um, and yeah, what does she mean to the team? And how hard was it to see her go down like she did? Yeah, I mean, she means so much to the team, uh, you know, on and off the court. But especially <clears throat> in today's game, I think she just brought a certain edge, um, certain aggressiveness that we needed to start off with. Um, just coming in, impacting the game, especially on the defensive end with her steals and, and ball pressure. And so that's something that we need to continue, um, especially in this tournament and then moving on, more importantly, into March. Um, so it's, it's hard seeing her, you know, go out like that. But we know she's tough and, you know, we know that she's going to be able to come back um, pretty easy from that. We'll go to Patty and Rob. Liv, can you talk about you had a double-double in the first half and you guys dominated inside the paint today uh, after getting just like two fast break points against Marquette. Can you talk about was there a concerted effort to, to uh, get out on the break and get down low and, 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 and dominate inside? 
Definitely. We wanted to get into our transition offense as much as possible and kind of um, get our pace up and, and kind of run teams like that from the beginning. Um, that's been a focus for us, especially from the coaches. So, um, you know, we, we've been trying to play our games like that instead of just having to come in and rely on uh, setting up in a half court offense and going through that. So I think, you know, moving forward, that's something that um, we're going to really have to just keep pushing in and making that a, a very big priority for us. We'll go to Chris Bello. Hey. Oops. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was just going to ask that. Paige if she could just talk about the uh, you had you forced them into several shot clock violations early, and a lot of that defense turned into offense. Can you just talk about that effort on the defensive end and how big a focus that was? Yeah, I think definitely in March the key uh, thing for everybody's game is their defense. Um, obviously, they're gonna, there's going to be scoring. There's going to be a lot of shooting opportunities and a lot of opportunities on offense. So. We just wanted to key in on our defense because, in reality, our defense really uh, uh, sets well for our offense. It transitions well. Um, and if we set the tone on defense, it makes our offense a whole lot easier. So just starting that from the jump and just sort of setting the tone for the rest of the tournament and for the rest of March for us is what we wanted to key in on defense first. Now we'll go to Chris Bello. Hey guys, Chris Bello, WSJU Student Radio at St. John's. I was just wondering how you guys, obviously you guys are confident, but Nick, obviously Mule goes down there, tough blow for you guys, but can you speak about your depth? Because obviously you have three players come in, Aubrey Griffin comes in off the bench, it looks like she hasn't missed a beat. You have Poffenbarger coming in, she looks like she hasn't missed a beat. You guys are always so well-rounded and ready to compete at any level. Can you just speak about the coaching and the depth of your team? Yeah, I think that kind of speaks into, um, you know, our practices, because that's where it really starts. It's just um, instilling, you know, different methods, different practice methods um, there. And, you know, realizing that, you know, it can't just be five people that know, you know, certain things, certain plays. It's everybody that comes in and is expected to contribute at a certain level. And I think our team does a really good job of that. We have time for one more. We'll go to Sunil. Thank you. Um, Sunil Sundarach from Global Women's Sports Radio. Uh, congrats, Paige and Olivia on the win. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, uh, you guys both, I mean, able to control points in the paint there and, you know, I said, uh, you know, get on the offensive uh, glass as well. Just uh, can you just talk about the, those areas, you know, just controlling, plus uh, getting to the free throw line as well, knocking down 50 out of 18 free throws, guys. Yeah, that's been a, a very uh, huge key for us is offensive rebounding and um, something that the coaches, um, the whole staff really has has kind of um, enforced on us. So, you know, making the extra effort to go after the ball um, on the offensive end and then also trying to finish and score as best as possible in the lane is um, has been super important for us and will be continuing down in March. Um, so as a team, we just really try to make that effort to do those things the best we can. All right, thanks to everyone for the questions for the student athletes. Congrats on the win, Olivia and Paige, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.